in the midst of the fire daniel chapter 3 verses 1 to 30 nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold he set it up in the plain of dura in the province of babylon then an herald cried loud to you it is commanded o people nations and languages that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet flute harp and all kinds of music ye fall down and worship the golden image that nebuchadnezzar the king had set up and whoso falleth not down and worshipeth shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace wherefore at that time certain chaldeans came near and accused the jews they spake and said to the king nebuchadnezzar there are certain jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of babylon shadrach meshach and abednego they serve not thy gods nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up then nebuchadnezzar in his rage and fury commanded to bring shadrach meshach and abednego said unto them if he worship not he shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace and who is that god that shall deliver you out of my hands shadrach meshach and abednego answered and said if it be so a god whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us out of thine hand o king but if not be it known unto thee o king that we will not serve thy gods nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up then was nebuchadnezzar full of fury commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was wont to be heated and he commanded the most mighty men to bind shadrach meshach and abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace the flames of the fire slew those men that took up shadrach meshach and abednego then nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and said unto his counselors did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire lo i see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire and they have no hurt and the form of the fourth is like the son of god then nebuchadnezzar spake and said shadrach meshach and abednego ye servants of the most high god come hither then shadrach meshach and abednego came forth of the midst of the fire and the princes governors and captains and the king's counselors saw these men upon whose bodies the fire had no power neither were their coats changed nor the smell of the fire had passed on them then nebuchadnezzar spake and said blessed be the god of shadrach meshach and abednego who has sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god because there is no other god that can deliver after this sort